what is the value of x if root 3x plus 1 minus root s plus 4 is equal to 1. Let's start by moving this negative root x plus 1 and plus 4 to the other side. So that I have 3 x plus 1, the root of it, equal to 1 plus root x plus 4. To clear this radical, we need to square both sides. So I have root 3x plus 1 squared equal to 1 plus root s plus 4 squared. And squaring the left hand side, we clear this square root sign. So that I have 3x plus 1 equal to and again, if I square this, squaring this will not clear this radical because of this one outside here. So instead, we're going to expand this bracket. I have 1 plus root x plus 4 multiplied by 1 plus root s plus 4. So that's how 3x plus 1 equal to 1 times 1, 1, 1 times x. Uh, root s plus 4 is root s plus 4. Uh, root s plus 4 times 1 is root s plus 4. Root s plus 4 times root s plus 4 is x plus 4. Um, these two here can be added together, and this 1 and 4 can be added together. They are like terms. They have 3x plus 1 equal to 1 plus 4 is 5 root s plus 4 plus root s plus 4 is 2 root s plus 4 2 root s plus 4 then plus this x now collecting like terms this x i will move it to the left hand side this is plus s when it crosses equality become minus I have 3 x minus f plus this one here Again, this 5, taking it to the left hand side, will become minus 5, equal to 2 root x plus 4. 3x minus s is 2x. 1 minus 5 is negative 4, equal to 2 root x plus 4. Now, to clear this radical, I will square both sides again. So on the left hand side, that would be 2x minus 4 squared equal to 2 root s plus 4 squared. Or to even make our work easier, I think I need to factor out something there. So here, on the left hand side, we have 2x minus 4. 2 is common to both of them. So let me factor it out. So it will be 2 into x minus 2 equal to 2 root x plus 4. Dividing through by 2, this 2 will be done. So I have x minus 2 equal to root x plus 4. To clear the radical, I will square both sides again. I have x minus 2 squared equal to root x plus 4 squared. I have s minus 2 squared is s squared minus 4x plus 4 equal to, and then root x plus 4 squared is s plus 4. This is leading us to quadratic equation now. Right? I will have s squared minus 4x minus uh, plus 4, taking this 4 to the other side, minus 4. And again, this x here, let me just subtract it here, minus this x. So that we have s squared. Um, minus 4 minus 4 is minus 5x 
and then 4 minus 4 is 0. Okay. Everything else equal to 0, equal to 0. So x squared minus 5, x equal to 0. x is common, let's factor that. How x minus 5 equal to 0. That means s is equal to 0 or x minus 5 is equal to 0. That means s is 0 or s is 5. So let's check which of these values satisfy the equation. Whether s equal to 0 or x equal to 5. The equation says um, root 3x plus 1 minus root x plus 4 equal to 1. So let's do that here. I have root 3x. That will be using when s equal to 0. That will be 3 times 0 plus 1. And minus root 0 plus 4. Let's see whether it will be equal to 1. 3 times 0 is 0. 0 plus 1 is 1, so root 1 minus root 4, square root of 1 is 1, 1 minus square root of 4 is 2, 1 minus 2 is negative 1, so it's, it's, it's not equal to 1, that means 0 is not an answer, does not satisfy the equation, the other answer is s equal to 5, let's check that, let's put 5 here, that to be root 3 times um, 5 is 15. 15 plus 1 and minus 5 plus 9 that is 5 plus 4 rather 9. 5 plus 4 which is root 16 minus root 9. Root 16 is 4. Root 9 is 3. 4 minus 3 1. So only 5 satisfy this equation to s equal to 5. And now bring me to the end of this. I hope you found it useful. If you do, don't forget to like the video. And also subscribe to my channel to get more videos like this. Thank you.